next we're going to finish the look by giving her big, soft, tousled waves, um, just so it feels a little raw but sexy. Um, so I think it'd be really cool to just add a few, a few bends throughout. So I'm going to use one of my go-to favorite products hands down, which is the Evo Mr. Fantastic Blowout Spray. Um, I actually use this as my alternative to a sea salt spray at the moment, actually for a few years. I just really like it. It's not as salty and dirty as most sea salt sprays that I have experienced, and um, it definitely helps to give a really tousled texture. If you spray it in and let it air dry, it'll appear a little more on the wet side. Uh, but whenever you brush it out, it becomes fluffy and it's really cool because it's very clean looking but um, it really gives you the opportunity to kind of like do something with your hair and with the texture and it stay and have a lot of holding powder power but it's super easy to clean it up and take it down um, any type of extra texture with your brush and it get to a really polished look in an instant, um, but this is a really cool product. I'm just holding it maybe 12 inches away and just doing a light, light spray uh, throughout everything from roots to ends. Um, I'm really excited to use this on the hair extensions because hair extensions fresh out of the package, especially when they're straight texture, um, are way too silky and straight for the look that I'm going for. So this is going to help to give me a little bit of a bed head uh, tossel texture. So it's not, it's just ever so slightly misting, mis, misting and dampening the hair, but it's definitely not ever becoming wet because that'll be too much product and it'll almost become too heavy. Um, so spraying it kind of everywhere throughout and I'm using my fingers to kind of play with the texture and almost style the hair a little bit so I can see in some areas I have plenty of product and some needs a little bit more. This. So now that I have the product in, it's already starting to air dry a little bit. Um, I'm going to use the blow dryer and it should take me two minutes to get it completely dry. I'm just giving a little scrunch to the texture to help it out a little bit here. Getting some volume. Imagining that her cheekbones are here of lifting it off the cheekbone. It's always so flattering on anyone to give them a higher cheekbone look. All right, so added a little texture in there. Now I'm going to use the blow dryer to uh, get it completely dry before we put an iron to the hair. blow drying in the product so as you can see it gets very PC and beachy um, I did a really rough dry so it's very very messy at the moment um, but it definitely is going to help give us that texture that I'm looking for so the curling iron doesn't feel too done and a bit more raw an elevated raw, I will call it. Um, so here we go. I am going to take a brush to it because it does give a different texture. It does make it more um, fluffy. And you know, after a few minutes, it starts to 
get a little more PC again. And this also helps to detangle for whenever we begin our curling iron set. So with the curling iron, I want to make sure it doesn't look overly done and very natural. So because of that, I'm going to teach you a technique where you twist the strand of hair before you feed it through the iron. Um, it's going to help to make the, the wave look more like a wave, less like a curl, just more natural, more beachy, uh, which is exactly what we're going for. brush through it. So see how clean it still looks? And then there's just some more uh, texture now to it. It doesn't look as shiny and brand new. It's really fun to play with that product. Um, okay, so now we're going to go ahead and begin the wave. So it's going to take a long time to feed this hair into the curling iron because it's so ridiculously long. Because it's long, we need to um, take smaller sections that will go into the curling iron because we need to leave some room on there to fit all the way down to the ends. So I'm going to start with some smaller sections here. So because the hair is so long especially, I'm just going to roll it and clip it front to the front to help get it out of the way. If I start wrapping it up and putting up here, it's just so heavy and time consuming to manage the hair that way. So this is the way we'll section is just kind of rolling it out of the way. So I'm going to put it here and then I'm going to take the hair and I'm going to twist it and then wrap it around and you want to push it back because there's a lot of length. So I'm going to twist it and wrap it around, twist, wrap, twist. You can purchase a glove if you are trying to do this on yourself especially. It will help to prevent you from getting burnt. I love to keep a good half an inch, one inch of the end sticking out because it'll help to make it look uh, more natural and not so curled. So I'm going to take this out. Because I twisted it, it makes the F shape much more elongated and relaxed and this is what's going to make it look more natural than not twisting it. So I'll show you again. I didn't leave in as long so it looks even more natural actually so eventually whenever this is more has more wear and tear and we mess it up a little bit and shake it around it will feel a little more like this which is pretty perfect actually it's tousled it's bendy it doesn't look like a curling iron went to it but I'm gonna redo it to set it and hold it on a little bit longer so that um, this wig can sit for a few days like this without losing too much of its hold.
have our first section of the nape. Okay guys, so this is the finished set. Uh, we did the loose bends and it's um, a successful U parting wig that we custom made today. Um, show you kind of what it looks like. I don't want to start breaking it up uh, at all with my hands or a brush because the shoot is in a few days from today so I don't want it to get too limp. We did use a very large size curling iron but um, I'm going to do just a light hairspray. Uh, one of my go-to's is the KMS California Hair Stay Dry Extreme Hairspray. I've been using it for 15 years. Um, so I'm going to just give it a light spray. What I love about it is it's brushable, has a beautiful shine, but it's also um, dry, so it's not uh, necessarily wet. So here we go. Because we set it so loose and use such a big iron, I like to use a little extra holding power with a, a hairspray. This is going to look so amazing on Joan. Um, okay, so there you have it. I'll shake it out a little bit for you. It looks so funny with the um, holding on top, but Joe's natural hair will fill that in.